Hi guys, um, it's Lil Mike and today I'm going to be talking about fashion makeup for boys and teenagers and whatever, basically male fashion makeup. So, um, many boys tend to have problems with acne or spots and all that kind of stuff and that leads up to the scars. And you know, sometimes boys are not so comfortable wearing makeup because you know, they think, you know, what people are going to think about it, but you know, like, I'm saying, you don't have to be gay to wear makeup or whatever, like, all the celebrities and male models wear makeup. And you know, I'm going to be showing you a few tricks to put, like, light makeup on to cover your spots or whatever you have problems with. So I'm going to be using very cheap products, but good ones that you can find in your um, drugstore or whatever. and. I'm going to be using also very basic techniques. I'm not a trained makeup artist, but I have loads of knowledge about makeup, so you know, I don't want people to be saying, oh my god, oh my god, that's not right, whatever. So yeah, let's start off with, first of all, you should moisturize your face before applying any makeup, and also cleanses, and also, if you have problems with black spots, blackheads, I mean not black spots, sorry, blackheads, use scrubs, you know, like facial scrubs, and also cleanse your face and then moisturize it, especially before applying any makeup. So first you're going to be starting with concealer. I have two concealers here. Cleansing one and one from L'Oreal. I really like to look pale and all that, so you know, it depends on your skin tone, but if you want to look more tender than you should, face, go with pale foundation and then use bronzer to tone it up, so yeah. Let's start with concealer. Concealer is used um, especially for under eyes, it's called like red under eyes, or any basic facial mark or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to tie my hair because it's annoying me a bit. I know I look weird, but yeah. Mm -hmm. So just dab it on your finger and go on the eye. Okay, so I'm like I said, it's quick and you know, it's not that noticeable when you're putting it on. Like the L'Oreal um, concealer is really good because it gives you good coverage and it covers it well. Yeah. So you know, I'm done. And the next thing we're going to use is foundation. I'm using a um, makeup foundation, oil free foundation. Make sure it's really moisturized foundation. So it gives you light coverage so you don't look heavy. Because you know, you don't want that. You want light coverage to cover, you know, your your face color so it looks better. It's Porcelain by Barbara Daly. I don't know. It's really good. I use it all the time and it works well. It gives me good coverage, really light one and it looks really natural. So basically, take a dab on the back of your hand. See, it's really pale, but see, it's really moisturized, so it's not going to make your face look cake or anything. So if you want to, oh my god, look super in my um, basically, just take your finger, I'm going to go with fingers, you can use sponge, or whatever, or makeup brush, but you know, you don't need those equipment if you want to. And just go over really quickly with circles in the most red areas around eyes and your chin see my skin isn't perfect here like you know mm -hmm. la, 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 la. more foundation I'm trying to do it really quick because I don't have much time Just blend it in, blend it in, that's the most important thing. Um, I'm going to be probably doing more makeup tutorials. I don't know whether boys or girls want to do it, but you know. Give me like requests or comments under this video and let me know what you want or what you want to know. I can do loads of stuff about hair as well, hair care, and all that crap. You know, boys 
combination of girls wanting to keep kind of berries, so you know, girls want to have coverage. And probably if I would do um, girls foundation tutorial, I would use like more expensive cosmetics mm -hmm. like mine and all that. Because you know, boys don't need mine or anything. Well, they do, but like, you know, not really. I think it looks quite better now, right? And then you take your concealer again. We just put it here. And then you double on your finger. Oh no, I need new one. Actually. And then just cover the big marks. Or just cover like this. Ah, then use the other one. And just cover the spot areas. Just go over it. Blend it in. And the last thing we're gonna do is powder. I'm using Natural Collection Look Powder Cool Translucent. It's only like three or you can get in boots or whatever. But like like I said, it, it's good for your skin. Cause see, it also depends on your skin. You don't want to get um, worse after using makeup. So, you know, you're also better off with using uh, mineral makeup because it's healthy for your skin. But like I said, um, the foundation that I'm using and the powder I'm using, they're like the I never had any skin effects of them, but you know, something might do and it might make their acne worse, and we don't want that, so, you know, better test it before actually buying or using. Just have it on your brush, while I'm using a brush this here, see? And then just circle around it, blend it in, blend it. No, blend it around. You can put some, like, I'll be doing probably more videos, we can do some, um, warm eye looks, or like, whatever, you know, not, not this strong, but I'm definitely going to do more, so yeah, that's the effect, see, you can't really see that I'm wearing any makeup, but see, my face looks kind of better, I got the, I got the shade of my face right, I got, I got the right color, so yeah, I hope this solves many of your problems and see you soon. Bye.